God is calling every person to fullness of life in Him and to help build up the body of Christ. As we grow in our Christian walk, we come to understand that our call is often a process that unfolds over time as God leads us, teaches us, and tests our faith. Many of us seek guidance and wisdom to help understand our calling, but we don't always know where to turn to receive this help. At Mepkin Abbey, we join together those who have been set apart by God to lead contemplative lives of ongoing or ceaseless prayer for our community, the broader church, and all of humanity. Experience the beauty of God's creation as you serve a monastic life on nearly 3,000 acres of elegantly preserved and maintained woodland and farmland on the Cooper River outside of Charleston. While most people choose a career path, often suited to their talents and desires, one's vocation emerges as a genuine calling as we reflect and pray discovering a wonderful sense of purpose and submitting oneself in service to God's kingdom. Again and again, Scripture speaks of God redirecting men and women of faith, asking them to take risks and be uncomfortable for the sake of His higher purposes. Instead of asking, what do I want to do? You begin to consider the question, what is God inviting me to do with my life? Or a more fundamental question, what is my life for? For many, this question not only includes a career, but thoughts of marriage and family as well. For some, the call is in apostolic service to the body of Christ, teaching, healthcare, parish life, etc. But for a chosen few, the monastic life offers fulfillment to those whose desire to serve expresses itself in the language of constant prayer. A monk is the one who has heard the inner call of Christ, rousing him to a deeper awareness of human destiny as he is nourished by a threefold stream. The prayerful reading of scripture, the communal chanting of prayers, and work. At Mepkin, we believe God brings together as a community of faith a group who did not choose each other, but who God invites and entrusts with this work of constant praying for everyone else. Does something in you sense God is inviting you to serve through prayer for all humanity and the broader church? Gracious and loving God, in every generation you call men and women to leave everything, following Christ into the desert, being of one mind in peace, humility, and simplicity. We come before you now, asking for the grace to be faithful to our vocation striving to live in the communion of love which surpasses all other gifts. May men and women of our time hear the call to live the gospel in the monastic way, in service of the church's mission, by constantly seeking your face in prayer, work, and community life. Remember our Cistercian communities, those aging and those newly born, throughout the world, north and south, east and west, as you have done from the days of our founders Bless us once again. May our brotherhood at Mepkin grow in numbers, in grace, and in wisdom, so that we might continue to live for your glory with greater vigor and with joy never-ending. Amen.